Things that we just see, everything we believe. We just see everything. Everyone, this is DBG here, and today we got wild border maple syrup Unkered bacon blueberry. So first off, it's not that good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, this was very unexpected kind of taste. It's it's made from turkey, and but they use uncured bacon in it. Basically, they put bacon in this. It just wasn't that good. Uh, it was either this choice or between sriracha flavor. I'm like, I don't want something spicy this time. But maple syrup and blueberries go, you know, hand to hand without too much of a problem. So I was actually a jo Jojo, stop licking. So I was actually excited to at least try this and hopefully get maybe something out of it. But it was actually not worth buying this and eating this. It's one of those um, protein related kind of protein bars with actually, I know that sounds odd where it actually uses real meat and ingredients. So, let me just read them off. It uses free-range turkey, bacon, well, at least the two first ingredients are bacon. No nitrates, no nitrates added. We got seasoning blend. For some reason, they use quinoa, chai seeds, and flax seeds in this, which I don't see the point why. I guess try to get more hip and to the kids because we got to make up limbs by our shit. So add the kinder one to chai sheets. That's the only reason why I would think. Uh, of course, maple syrup. Uh, there's actually not a lot. Of, they use dry blueberries, which again, not too much of a shocker. But the dry blueberries have cane sugar. Why? Why would you add sugar to something that already has sugar in it? I don't see a point to adding sugar to fruit. Because it's dry. I see abs. I don't care if it's cane sugar, corn syrup, glucose, dextrose, sucrose, acrose. I don't care about any of those alios. I don't fucking care. Don't add sugar to fruit. It just destroys the idea of it. Like, they're trying to make it taste better. I'd be a little bit more addicting for people. I don't want that. And I, but people are still, I don't know, maybe companies are still not seeing that. People don't want that. It's actually very bad to eat excess sugar. We know this. People are finding that out more. Thanks to you and yes to you during the 1980s. Bullshit. Anyways. Um, and so on so forth. Tapioca syrup date. Dates? There's dates in this? It's like one of the last ones. That was just a weird one. Um... No, at least I'll give it this. The ingredients are 99.99% amazing. So I'm not going to argue with the ingredients. On point, I'm happy with it. Except the added cane sugar. Uh, anyways, nutrition facts, about 130 calories for this thing. Um, it has about 5 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein. Um, let's see, 10 grams of, uh, sorry, 9 grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein. Uh, I'm not actually happy about it only being 10 grams of protein, especially since... It has turkey meat in it, one of the leanest meats you can, and it doesn't specify what kind of turkey, it just says free range turkey, it doesn't say if it's from the breast, dark meat, leg, uh, neck, it just says free range turkey. Eh, so it's probably using dark meat just to make it a little bit cheaper and flavorful is what I'm assuming. But, I mean, it's not only 1.5 grams of saturated fat, 290 grams of sodium, but we always know that anything has to do with the jerky or even protein bars, that most of the time it's going to have a decent amount of salt in it just because it's just a natural preservative. And, you know, it, this being trying to say, hey, we use natural preservatives, it doesn't shock me. Also, it's gluten-free, inspected by the U.S., non-GMO, blah de blah de blah 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 more crap, more special words. Throw them out there. It will catch your eye and hopefully you buy. But I'm not gonna buy this again. This is something, I don't care if it's between this and other proteins. I just will not buy this. I, and I don't recommend this. It also has a very um, interesting texture. The texture is like biting into a styrofoam chicken. It's bland, it's chew, dry styrofoam chicken. <clears throat> That's what it tasted like to me. 
And it was very crumbly also when I bit into it, which I was also stunned. Because I'm like, what the hell are you doing with this thing? Uh, I'm guessing that's because of the quinoa just... I don't, I don't, I, quinoa is not something you add to other things, personally. It's one of those um, flavor absorptions. It's like tofu. You're supposed to add it into something or add something to it and it was it'll absorb the whole thing. And it tastes a lot better. And the chai seeds and flax is just it's just a random crunch in there. It just tastes weird. The texture is absolutely horrible. So I wouldn't buy this. Wouldn't recommend it. So besides that, have a good day.